Good morning, everyone. I'm Rachel, and today I'll be discussing a critical review of global warming and its consequences, based on research conducted at the Universidad Nacional de Córdoba. This work by Francisco Javier Llensabrica and Claudia Florencia Bravo provides important insights into the current state of climate change research and public awareness. While many assume a simple relationship between carbon dioxide and temperature, the reality is more complex. This slide illustrates two crucial concepts. First, the tipping points that could prevent Earth from regulating CO2 and temperature, shown in the left map. Second, as depicted in the right graph, Earth's potential transition from our current ice age to a dangerous hothouse state. It's worth noting that we're currently in an ice age that's lasted 34 million years but human activities are pushing us toward unprecedented temperature increases. The researchers set out with a clear objective, to emphasize the urgency of combating global warming and assess public awareness of this crisis. Their work focuses not just on scientific data, but on understanding how different populations perceive and respond to climate change threats. The study employed a comprehensive search methodology using three major platforms, Google, Google Scholar, and Google Trends. The researchers tracked five key terms, greenhouse effect, global warming, climate change, hothouse, and climate future. This systematic approach allowed them to measure both public interest and academic focus across different regions and timeframes. The data revealed fascinating patterns in both public and academic interest. Looking at the tables, we can see that climate change dominated general searches with 641 million results in the past year. However, in academic circles, as shown in the Google Scholar data, global warming and climate future received more attention. This suggests a potential disconnect between public discourse and academic research priorities. The findings highlight several critical points. While public interest in climate change is growing, misinformation remains a significant challenge. The researchers emphasize that while geoengineering solutions are being proposed, these should be viewed as temporary measures rather than permanent solutions. The focus must remain on reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The researchers extended their gratitude to the Department of Physical Chemistry and their professors at the Universidad Nacional de Córdoba for their support and guidance throughout this study. This research drew from a robust collection of sources, including the latest IPCC reports, studies from the University of Exeter, and various academic publications. These sources provide a strong foundation for the findings and recommendations presented today. Thank you for your attention. Are there any questions?